scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. Madam, stretch your hands, lift, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus, never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. There is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White white and white i want to speak to that person is there someone like not not just this one it's not is there someone like that you are not in this auditorium you, what's your name sir come and stand here what do you do huh i said you are wearing white and white i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine what do you do i'm a teller sir Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's fear God. There's, there's order in the house of God. Please, if we don't call your case and you come, we'll politely drive you back to your seat. Please, there is order in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I want to pray for you. Madam, I know your husband is following. Don't worry, husband. You don't have to come. Just stand in faith. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the holy spirit there are two people at the back the power of god is coming on them with a loud shout please pick them and bring them out two people at the back i just saw light leaving this place right to the back please bring them my dear i curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry what do you do huh I'm an entrepreneur. Are you a businessman? Yes, sir. What, yes, do you, sir. what do you do? I was actually doing Uber, but I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen, when, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We're a kingdom-driven people, and everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly.
for the prayer of your mother i stretch my hands the grace that makes for favor take that grace now take that grace in the name of jesus go and prosper you will never be the same in the name of jesus you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are out here by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare we are still praying in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be healing for you now healing for you now i'm seeing a strange vision please bring them out now i'm just seeing snakes all over this place this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing snakes i stand by the god of heaven and everything that represents an orchestration of darkness not just in front even across the congregation i stretch my hands let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of god any fraternity which spirit brings please bring them out i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those i curse those spirits right now hallelujah who is jane jane like j-a-n-e i'm hearing a name jane we may not have all the time to speak to people one-on-one -on -one. jane is there someone like that who is gift gift g-i-f-t is there someone like that gift let hope let it rise Darkness trembles in your own belight. Yeah, let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in a sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now, liberty right now. in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cross the walkings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus help them please hallelujah ah well this is serious um please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out i'm seeing a woman you have been pregnant this is way past nine months it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that in the name of jesus please pray hallelujah hallelujah 
Alléluia. Why is she here? Why are you here? You are pregnant. There's no pregnancy there now. Pregnant. Physically, not spiritually pregnant. Physically pregnant. More than nine months. How many years? How many years? One year, five months. Come and stand here. How many years? One year, nine months. How many years? Give her the mic. This one, I'm seeing one year, nine months written on her. One year, nine months. Stand up. One year, nine months. This is demonic. How can a human... Hold on, please, madam. It's all right. It's all right. How can a person hold pregnancy for one year, nine months? I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. My dear, hold on. Look at me, look at me. Let's save time, man. Stand up. Let me just minister to you. Please be patient this night and let God give us a visitation. You are married? This is my third pregnancy. I saw you in my dream. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. It's all right. You are, that, um, God has answered your prayer. We are going to pray, huh? Look at this. Look at me. I curse that spirit. According to God's design for us, there are doctors here. Women. Is it not nine months? It's elephants that carry children for over two years or so. Not human beings. This is witchcraft. Everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery i command it to clear the way now clear the way now have the free clear the way now clear the way now clear the way now clear the way now, clear the way now. As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her. Just help her. Madam, you're married? I lost my husband for my, uh, last year. He was poisoned. And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant and you go to the hospital he said they did not see anything <laughs> stretch your hands pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood <laughs> Satan take your hands from this woman in the name of jesus we command every demonic hindrance give way now you have taken all the pain you have taken all the shame you have taken all disappointments you have taken all the worries You have made them yours You have taken all my pain You have taken all my shame You have taken all my sorrow You have taken all the weakness You have made them yours Listen, if this is a genuine pregnancy, then we declare according to the time of life. May you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify. You are her sister or daughter? Who is this? 
your sister oh dear don't cry weep not for the book is open the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now i'm hearing the name asabe a s a b e it's like that's somebody's name is there someone like that i want to pray who is that who has ha. we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king you're welcome madam can i pray for you i want to pray for you my goodness the lord is bringing a miracle we're going to pray for the sick shortly but i'm seeing the power of god touching you your body in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is not a planting of god roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you the month of july call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ there is someone here we're going to pray but i'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer i want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death People are following on air, no telling lies. No telling lies. We are praying for everybody. If your father, biological father, is not a military officer, please stay back. Make sure that you don't just come out at random. We are praying now. Praise the name of the Lord. You just come and stand quickly and let's pray. Please don't be tired. God is visiting people. Ah! I just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out i release that grace for speed bring them out there is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of god take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out strength grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we am prophesying by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month speed speed to your life Help them please speed to your life i'm still praying it i'm still seeing that grace rest on people you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life supernatural speed hallelujah there is a man of god here oh dear you have been praying don't come out the power of god will come on you you have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this road this road at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest paros katatapa katapara katoshiata upon your ministry, upon your life, 
Paros Kadandas Kadavalakata Kebranda Katuskia. Grace is coming upon you. Signs, wonders. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at what God will do in your life. Grace, you will command signs and wonders in business, in ministry. May the good hand of God come upon you. Hallelujah. Any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family, I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone's father who is a military officer, in the name of Jesus, you will not die in battle. I declare supernatural preservation by the power of the Holy Spirit, preserved by the good hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ preserved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you God has located you praise the name of the Lord Please don't cry. Look at me, my dear. Your brother. What's his name? Benjamin. How many years? 35. 35. Huh. How many years has he been missing? Two years. How about you? What's the name of your brother? Nandom. He's been missing? Yes, sir. And my sister? Fejiro. He has been missing for two years. What's his name? Fejiro. Listen. What does he do? He just graduated. So, um, what was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, just went away. I'm listening. Well, on well, live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, we have to pray for our relatives. Because sometimes this deception that people bring let's help you get to this country you will get a job you understand what i'm saying and this is what is happening to him but in the name of jesus the spirit that is making him misbehave is still alive come back home now can i tell you this there is no country that has an advantage by default if the lord does not go with you every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it so just because it's us or uk or asia does not mean automatically now i know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper but i'm telling you except god holds a man's hand and helps you in this life you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday my sister where are you from i want to pray for you this prayer is not just for your brother let me start with you first huh shame and reproach in the name of jesus i command it to leave you the spirit that is part of shame and reproach release her now in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do i'm a real estate agent sir you are a real estate agent yes sir do your real estate yes sir. but start preparing for ministry hmm? look at me the call of god was upon your life before real estate you know that right god showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism yes, you've seen sir. yourself go to your village yes sir. you are from my place now yes sir yes, prepare sir. god yes, is sir. calling you do your real estate but then at the same time don't run away from the call of God. The call of God is not a cause. Many of us run away because we think you will not eat. So we run away as though God just calls people to rubbish their life. He calls us into a life of honor. Are we together now? My friend, don't cry. I pray that God will help you in your real estate. But I also pray that you will answer the call. And that God will equip you and he will use you mightily. For all our loved ones who are missing, be found in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. This will be the first time 
I will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since God brought us here. I'm not one person who comes out and says, you know, prophecies and all of that. No, I love the Lord. Whatever we see, we pray. But listen, I'm saying it openly. Pray for Abuja. I will just leave it there. We must pray that God will frustrate the counsel of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that God will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that God will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of God are we together now don't say what I did not say pray but you see God has granted us grace and he has put a burden even for the territory I'm not one person who just comes to speak negative but if you hear me say this please pray in the name of Jesus that there will not be a resurgence of bombings and a resurgence of strange kidnapping not of ordinary people but of political figures within the place this is the devil and in the name of Jesus we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass we superimpose it by the power that raised Christ from the dead in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth city. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of light, kings and priests. We declare God's far has come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah first i want you to agree two things in one have you written your prayer request now this is what i want you to do very quickly please just pass it to pass it nobody's reading it so you just feel free pass it to the last person by maybe the left or the right aisle whichever those please all the overflows let's do same outside if you're following from any nation you can send it to our social media platforms it's time for us to pray. We're going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones? We believe in miracles. We'll take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. We believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact. Those following. On TV you are following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith connect now by faith every nation every territory we believe in the God that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer request very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we are going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you 
the moment I do that I want you to begin to check yourself and I'm going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God whether you're inside or outside the moment I'm praying some of you whilst you came out here miracles were already happening to you check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened I'd like you to run come and stand by my left or my right whichever there will be people to just check you and we'll take a few miracles then we'll pray over the request and I prophesy over you and we're done praise the name of the Lord now lay your hands there and let's pray this is a house of healing this is a house of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ please shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here release them now in the name of Jesus release them in the name of Jesus right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be opened now if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair stand leave that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service 
and those who are checking themselves now please check yourself very quickly you find out that the power of god has touched you be bold make your way to the front as we celebrate them those from outside if they are coming from outside for healing please allow them come are you celebrating miracles miracles are happening check yourself and make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now in the name of jesus christ koinonia is this the best you can do jesus is touching people touching people from outside quickly quickly it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you That's more than found in you. It's in you, Lord. Please let's let's take a few testimonies. We may not have time to take so much, but let the people come. Please sit for a few minutes. Whoever is ready, yes, sir. Please help us with the mic very quickly. Let's celebrate a few miracles here and then go ahead. Also, yes. The Lord has actually started very fantastic things amongst us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I've had severe abdominal pain for over a year. Abdominal pain? Yes. Due and right now? Ulcer, it's gone. Completely gone. Yes, sir. Celebrate Jesus. Place your hand there in the name of Jesus. Go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Apostle, partial deafness has just been healed. My left leg, this is the result. That's your... The test result. The test result. They told me I have profound loss to total hearing loss. And Where? I'm hearing Which 25, of... the both ears. And right now? Yes, he made mention, he specifically mentioned that of the left ear, and the left ear was the one that had the worst result. Look, and and right now, it's open. From the back. Give Jesus hear, praise. Come on. My God. I stretch my hands, and I declare perfection on your ears it never returns again in jesus name i pray yes please these two people they've had severe back pain back pain back pain for how long bend. sir they couldn't bend. six months now six months my god koinonia are you celebrating miracles now they can bend comfortably bend. And check yourself any pain any pain both this, of you this one of our medical officials too oh you are oh dear beautiful so now god will heal you and then you get to your work one of our medical people has been healed too by the power of the holy spirit amen everyone receives in this house i stretch my hands let there be miracles right now in jesus name there are so many people maybe a few of them can come here very quickly yes please very quickly swelling on the neck disappear swelling swelling on the neck There's how long give her the mic too. How long very quickly for one week here was swelling up it was swelling yes, and it's gone right now yes, in the name of jesus it never returns again don't commonize miracles this is how god is opening doors in your life too swelling, in jesus name swelling in our throats too for like six swelling months. yes it's not swelling but this long thing that is inside was touching my tongue and i was feeling uncomfortable okay and now I'm it's gone completely dead. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus perfection for you in Jesus name yes sir praise the Lord I have a problem with my leg whenever I sit down for long when I stand up I fall weak the leg just become weak and I just fall down you fall down yes so but ever since I came to this service I'm not conscious of standing up like I feel free now Run. with the leg try to jump any pain in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare perfection for you now by the power of the holy spirit apostle since he was a small boy he's had problem with his chest with breathing but now breathing yes i had problem with the chest so when i was sitting at the basement i was not feeling comfortable breathing so when you see we should put our hands in our chest yes. so i decided to just put it by as faith usual. so when i just put my hands so 
normally I search for fresh air to breathe. If I go through this way, I see that the place is stuffy, I go to the next place. And right now, yeah, so I've been breathe, walking around. breathe in and out. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? Give no, Jesus sir. praise. We declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Also, growth in the neck for four years. Growth in the neck? Gone. Yes, sir. Since 2017. Since 2017? Yes, I had my a God. dream that someone forced something down my throat. I was struggling. And when I woke up, it has been... Everything like that. that is not the planting of God, it returns back to the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Yes, please. A similar experience for one. My mom, she's at home. She has a swelling on her neck. Then she sent me this message. I should pray for her. Why are you praying? I placed my hand on my neck. I prayed for her. After I finished praying, I called her. I told her, Mom, how is your neck? She told me she's perfectly okay now. Where is she? She's at home. Where is home? She's at Anambra State. Hmm. She's okay All the now. way from Anambra yes, State. Sir. Those following online, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles and breakthroughs for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Also, she has had dislocation in her hand. She even came with the bandage, but now dislocation. Is Where is the bandage? Lift it up. It. What couldn't you do before? You couldn't do this. Go ahead. Lift it. Let the devil see both the bandage and your healed hands. Supernatural miracle. Come, listen, brothers and sisters. You see, let me tell you something here. Eh? The working of miracles is a gift and a grace. If you don't have it, you don't have it. If it's there, it is there praise the lord but then the side effect in a house that miracles easily happen just like water is that sometimes we may commonize the workings of miracles and what god is doing every one of these miracles you see there is a story of tragedy and pain this is deliverance this is healing that god is bringing for them we rejoice with you and we declare you go back home and tell them this is what happens when we come to church god bless you Bless you, my dear. Yes, please. And this has been confirmed by a medical official. She had a topic pregnancy. She was operated upon, and then she has been in severe pain. Severe she pain. She could not even work. What's your now... name, my dear? Fung Jen Patience, boy. And then you have a problem, yes. a topic pregnancy. Yes. She was operated. And she's been having pain. Yes. Number one, that pain is perfected. Amen. Number two, in the name of Jesus, we declare that you will be a joyful mother of children. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, since 2014, he's had moving objects. He feels things moving around him. And now? Persecution, sir. Sir? Because of persecution, I came from Meduguri, sir. Because of persecution? So, yes. Moving All objects? All over, yes. They want to force They want to kill me, sir. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, perfection. I stretch my hands right now. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you. And in Jesus' name, every demonic thing, I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I declare now, as I'm praying for you, in the name of Jesus, everything that is a programming of death, be delivered from it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Pain, several pains. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you, all of you with all sorts of pain, let there be healing for you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Yes, sir. Pain from ectopic pregnancy, gone. Hallelujah. This issue of pregnancy and this demonic thing, we stand by the God of heaven and we declare, you will not get pregnant and lose it. In the name of Jesus Christ. every spirit that continues to make that you get pregnant and then it doesn't work you give your best you try and it does not work i curse it right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus my dear be healed by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please very quickly apostle the lord is indeed faithful amen she's had 17 seizures yesterday 17, 17 seizures. The mother has the records here. She keeps record of these. Madam, talk. Don't cry. Just talk quickly. One Sir, minute. When she turned 12, like that was last year, she just started misbehaving. She used to have seizure, maybe in a minute. Yes. If she's having anything in her hand, she will throw it. She will naked herself. Then 
The thing what? started this year in the school. It was not doing high in the school, but it began to progress. It started in the school. The seizures started. We were praying. So, uh, what so now? Are, yesterday, because of this miracle service, I've been asking God to heal her. Yesterday, I started taking records. It, the seizures started around 12.20 a.m. in the night. As I recorded till night. Uh, what, and what has p.m. happened now? 17. But today, I started at 2.20. Since this service started, the last seizure was 5.11. And she's not had any seizures. She has seizure. not had it till now. My dear, what's yes. your name? Esther. Esther. Esther, I rebuke every spirit that wants to destroy the destiny of this our beautiful daughter. Seizures in the name of Jesus. See, I'm praying for the daughter and it's the mother, the power of God is coming on. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, if it's a pattern within that family, we break it now. Amen. By the way, let me speak over everyone. Any pattern you have seen, recurrent patterns, happens to loved ones and is happening to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that pattern comes to an end now. That pattern comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Please, let's just take 2-2 two, two, and then 2-2 two, two, and then we just, you can document the rest and they can have it next week. Yes, very quickly. In her body for the past 10 years. She said she could literally feel... 10 body. years. You feel breathing, objects breathing, in your body. Breathing. But immediately you call the case now. She's it's completely gone. Well. My dear, it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free now. Be free forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Mama said in the dream somebody hit her hand there and then she... In the physical. And then she could not turn the hand. She could not turn her hand. And the Give her the mic quickly. No, no, don't hold it. Just talk, Mama. A woman in the ceremony hit me on my shoulder. When I even came here, Sometimes I cannot turn. I have to turn with my whole body. But when I came, my hand was paining me. If you say, raise up your hands for prayers. If I want to raise, my hand will hook me. But now, when you prayed. Come on, Koinonia. Jesus. And then she couldn't see properly. But now, her vision is perfect. I have glaucoma. I have cataract and I have diabetes rhinopathy. I was not seeing people's face. Hold on, please. Yes, we're listening. After the prayers, if you pray, I'll put my hands on my eyes. And now I can see people's face. Hmm. She came from Zaras. Uh, Apostle, he knows me very well. He has contributed on my life. I'm not At even I'm Zaria not sure. and Mommy Lucille. Okay. Mommy Lavinia. Oh, they are my part goodness. Of, they are part of your members. I used to come for the Mama prayers. Mama God has healed you now. I came Let the devil see it again. Look at this. Are you celebrating with this family? Listen, my brothers and sisters, not all miracles are stage managed. There are real, genuine miracles. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Amen. Mama, you are healed now, and we declare you are healed forever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Confirmed by the medical official, she had breast lump, but it's gone, disappeared. Breast lump. Yes, sir. When you mentioned it, confirmed. Completely gone. Confirmed by the medical team. Yes, sir. Confirmed. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Everything that is planted in your life that is not of God, we uproot it right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Also, the three of them have similar cases with their needs. But today, in standard, the Lord healed. The Lord has healed them. Yesterday, I had an last... Okay, now I'm free now. Completely. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Mine was eight months. I fell in a ditch and my bone shifted. And after the massage, if I sit down for too long, I'd feel the pain. So last miracle service, I had my miracle, but 
I was too shy to come out, but this miracle service, and when you talked about kneecap, I just keyed into it, and the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, this is amazing. I think it's better we hear from her. Yes, go ahead. Don't hold it. Just speak, my dear. Okay, so um, I, have been, I had a baby in April, and since I had the baby, I've been feeling unsettled in my brain. I knew something was not right. So on Friday, I went to do a brain MRI, and it turns out that I have a mass that is resting on my optic nerve. You had a mast? It, they called it B3. Let doctor talk. Explain it for us. Just one minute, very quickly. It's a pituitary tumor. Yeah, so it sits on the optic nerve, which is responsible for vision. So that's why she's been having the blurring of vision. And then it's also responsible for production of hormones that regulates the body. So that's why she's been having the um, upset in the hormones. I had a baby and I, I wasn't able to breastfeed my baby because, um, because of this. My prolactin levels were okay. very low, even lower than the average female. So, so what happened now? So while the ministration was going on, I, well, after the prayer, I just felt that everywhere was suddenly clear. Like I could see clearly. And Hallelujah. I felt like a fresh breeze from, yes. the, from my head to the sole Upon of my you. feet. And I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I was sitting down. I was telling my neighbor that I don't know if I should come outside. But I just decided to come out. Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is Lord. I stretch my hands towards you, my dear. I declare perfection. You go to the hospital, have a thorough test. You will come and stand here and testify before God's people. Every demon, every mast, anywhere around your body, your face, we declare it gives way now. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. I was a pile for six years. Pile? I've just been here. Yeah, I'm having power for six years now. But today I believe that God has healed me. Completely. Uh, yes. And also yesterday I did a test of hepatitis B. But trusting God that this, my coming to this point now, I'm healed yes. in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, healing for you. The last, the last one or two, please. And then we'll just pray generally. Majority of them pain in all the of them the pain back, in the name effects, of Jesus Christ healed. for all of you who are here remaining by the power of the Holy Spirit and those who are going we apologize for the sake of time we may not be able to take the testimonies we do not downplay the testimonies but in the name of Jesus your healings remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit the same hand that healed you will preserve you and keep you healed in Jesus name please rise up on your feet stretch your hands here Rise up on your feet, stretch your hands, even as we speak, we have a covenant of answered prayer from scripture and then with God in this house in one minute. Now, listen, let me tell you, this, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful part of the miracle service because this is the most accurate representation of our desires. We may not be able to prophesy because of time and because we see in part, but everyone's expectation is here world over i like you to release your faith in one minute and begin to make declarations as i pray that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever go ahead and pray in the name of jesus
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I bow my knees to the father of our Lord and I declare right now that every request that is represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead we turn it into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ every death sentence written here we declare in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass I decree and I declare that every human agent that must come in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make these requests become testimonies we provoke their ministries right now and I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that these Egyptians that you see today you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life by the power that is Christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of Jesus as you return from this mountain step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting God for jobs in the name of Jesus for some of you by next week I declare by the Spirit of God you return with miracle jobs where you have not experienced favor in your life I release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor You have honored me even through this weekend of my birthday. I pray shame and dishonor. Let it be far from your life forever. I pray for your spiritual life. A fresh hunger for the things of God. A fresh hunger for prayer and fasting. A fresh hunger for the study of scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally let me pray for you everything you have seen or God told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested I declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for, performance, the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finishers anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we're wrapping up now please July I like you to come with your heart open because we're going to do we're starting a very powerful series on the Holy Spirit and the mysteries of the anointing listen please I like you to don't just come to church come with your spirit your mind open we're going to learn the ministry of the Holy Spirit and understand the dynamics of the workings of the anointing praise the name of the Lord hallelujah are you blessed very quickly lend me two minutes to make an altar call we cannot but make an altar call before we are done tonight please keep standing i know you've, you've you've been standing for a while just be patient we are done you are here even though our time is far gone but you are saying apostle i need jesus i cannot afford to leave this place without jesus either to hand over your life completely and receive of his life or to rededicate your life wherever you are please leave your seat very quickly we have just one minute for you if you're in any overflow please you walk to your overflow let's minimize movement please so that we allow those who are making this decision to come god bless you my brother i believe he's not the only one someone else is joining him someone that courage very quickly god bless you please stand look at our little one here are you celebrating this boy if you're coming please come quickly run to jesus 
Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. If you're coming, come quickly, please. We have one minute for you and we'll pray the prayer of salvation. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One more time. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask. Praise the Lord. Thank you for making that bold decision. You who are here and all who are lifting their hands in your various overflows outside and those following online, please lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. Tonight, I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life. I also receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken from my life i am for jesus today and forever amen keep those hands lifted father i commend these precious ones to you let the grace that keep may that grace keep them let the grace that lift may that grace lift them i commend you to the ministry of the word and even the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you be established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for this bold decision. There's a gentleman waving the placard, smiling at you. The counselors, please, to my right, which is your left. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you very much for your patience. I'd like us um, for one last time to honor Pastor Elijah Oyelade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a blessing to us tonight. A blessing to the nations and particularly all those who flew in from outside this country thank you thank you we love you we appreciate you we pray that the Lord will bless you you will go from glory to glory from grace to grace in Jesus name after the grace please do well to just greet someone by your left and right on your way out and please um, be cautious so that you don't hit people let there be no stampede let's move in an orderly manner everybody will find his or her way out eventually the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace, please? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. The... Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.